Hey, this is Trish, and I am back with another Ask Trish question. And uh, this question, it's actually a double question from a reader of my blog, AroundWomanBlog.com. But I want to say something first because this question, these questions, was they were in an email that the reader sent me, and it was a long ass email. It was it was so long and so convoluted that it was actually kind of difficult to see where her questions were in in this long email. So I want to hear from you. Please send me your questions. I can't wait to tackle them. However, put them in an email that is, say, 50 words or less. Get right to the point. If I need more information from you, I can ask specific information from you before I answer it in a video. And also, if it's time sensitive, this she sent me this in August, and so it's now November. So if it's time sensitive, then you might want to schedule a consult with me or some kind of consultation that we can talk in, because in rereading the email, it seemed like she wanted some answers right then. Well, when you do it like this as an Ask Trish question, um, I answer them when when I'm able to to get to them. Um, if it's something emergent, then schedule a consult with me and just email me for that. So she had some great questions, though, in the middle of all that dialogue <laughs> in her email. Um, but in the, the, the two things... Cons- Oh, it just deals with two things that are really, really um, important to me and things that I've written about on my blog. So the first thing was she wants to grow. She likes to grow out her pubic hair, which is such a rarity nowadays, you know, because everybody, so many people shave. And um, so for her, she wants to grow it out and because she likes the way it feels for her but she's afraid of the smell down there. She's afraid of what a guy will think, et cetera, et cetera. Here's the thing, is that your body is your body. And if you wanna grow out your pubic hair, then you grow it out. It's yours. You do what you want with your pubic hair. You can shave, you can let it grow, you can let it grow a little bit, trim it back, whatever. It's yours. You get to do that. So it doesn't matter what anyone else likes or wants or prefers. What you like and want for your body is the only thing that matters. Okay? Now, in regard to the smell, the 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 aroma issue is one of the reasons why I do shave because I I have hair. I know hair absorbs scent. Like if you're around smokers and you, you then you walk away, you're like, oh my God, I stink. I smell like smokers. Um, it's hair absorbs smell. So then if you are going to grow your pubic hair out, just make sure that you have a very, very uh, clear regimented um, plan for staying nice and clean down there. You shower, you might need to, need to shower twice a day, especially on days like your period. Things like the period and having blood down there is the other major reason why I shave is the idea of, you know, just blood and urine and all of that going on down there. Just keep it clean. You know, when I'm home and I go, okay, this is too much information, but if you've read my blog, you've read so much about me that this will be nothing. Um, but you know, when I'm home, I, I wash off after I go to the bathroom, you know, um, because I shave, you know, there's a stubble, you don't want a little toilet paper bit. So, you know, I wash off whenever I can. Um, so it is, it is, um, a, a, a constant issue with the grooming, whether you grow your pubic hair out or whether you shave it. For me personally, the reason why I I started shaving to begin with was because I got tired of the hairs getting caught in my fingers when I masturbated. That really annoyed me because it hurt. And um, you know, masturbation feels good. And so anyway, so yeah, so that was the first reason. And then the other reasons of smell and that kind of thing. But as long as you are clean and you keep yourself clean down there, there shouldn't be any smell. But actually, that's another reason why um, you know people, anthropologists think we have pubic hair. Pubic hair is because the hair does track scent. And it's, it's going to attract the sense of your pheromones of being uh, turned on. You know, there's the famous story of, uh, of Napoleon Bonaparte when 
Well, he wrote Josephine and he said, he said, I'll be home in three days. Do not bathe <laughs> because he wanted her scent as soon as he got home. Um, to me, that's pretty gross, but whatever, you know, not judging. Um, so shave or not shave, that's up to you. Now, the second great aspect of her enormous email that she sent in was the, the topic of she wanted to know about would she gag if she gave oral to um, a potential boyfriend who's uncircumcised. Now, you know, you know me, I am all for the intact penis. I, 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 that's like the holy grail for me is to get to play with one of those one day. Um, but the idea here is, is one of the myths that's perpetuated by the pro circ camp, um, people who want to continue the mutilation of baby boys against their will, is this idea that, that being cut is cleaner. So this is ridiculous because most of the men in the world are intact and they've somehow learned to take care of their penis. And it's really simple. All they have to do is they just pull the skin back and they can just do a little wash around with, you don't even, you don't need soap, just a little water and then you're done. So your guy, Rebecca, your guy, all he has to do is just wash off his penis before he, you know, starts to do anything with you. And in fact, I require that. You know, you see these sex scenes in movies and TV where people are in the middle of doing something and then they rip off their clothes and they start having sex. I'd be like, dude, you go wash that off. Don't bring that near me unless it's been recently washed off. And, you know, um, because the, the penis, the shaft is covered with skin. The skin is the largest organ of the body. Sorry, guys, your penis is not the largest organ of your body. Your skin is. But the penis is covered in skin. And like every other part of your skin, you know, it, it, it releases oils and then uh, which can smell and it releases toxins because that's the main job of the skin, right? It keeps all your innards inside and then it releases toxins out to get them away from the body. So the skin of the penis is going to, um, you know, it's going to... It, it, it needs to be washed off, especially when it's been down in the pants all day long. Good God, wash that sucker off. Now, before you start saying, oh my God, I can't believe you. Yes, I would, and I do. I require that. I will not have sex with a guy unless he's just, you know, washed his, just what, like two seconds. Go wash your penis off. I mean, I've never had a yeast infection. So I'm doing something right, okay? So yes, you don't have to worry. As long as the guy, you know, pulls the shaft, he pulls the foreskin back a little bit, and you know, and just you know, make sure to get any any dead skin cells, because that's all that is in there. Um, when you're talking about intact penis and dick cheese and all that kind of stuff, it's just dead skin cells. So just rinse it off. It's it's not difficult. You know, um, but in talking about things like like this, you're talking about a person's own body and um, and their body is theirs to do what they want to do. You know, if a guy doesn't want to wash off his penis, that's his right. He doesn't have to, but he's not going to be with me. Um, you know, uh, for instance, I will not I will not suck penis or balls if they're not shaved because I don't like gagging on hair. <laughs> I mean, that's not attractive. But if a man does not want to shave his penis and balls for his own personal reasons, that's his body. And he has the right to choose not to shave. He doesn't have to, um, but he just won't get anything from me. But that's okay because I have that right and he has that right. And, you know, it's just, it's about finding a person who digs what you have and who you are and what you're doing. So Rebecca, grow your pubic hair out and just stay clean and your guy's going to love it if, if he, you could maybe change him. Maybe he, he always liked the shaved and maybe you'll make him a bush kind of guy. Um, and for the gagging on uncut penis, I mean, no more so than gagging on any other penis, <laughs> you know? Um, it's a skill and it's an art and it takes practice, but you can do it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up because it's gone way too long. I'm having way too much fun talking about penises and um, shaving. But anyway, read my blog, arousewomenblog.com. And if you have any questions, just email me. You can contact me through my website or through the blog, contact at arousewoman.com. And I will be happy to answer your question when I can get to it. And if you like what you read and hear and see, please leave a donation. It helps keep the blog and the website going. So, all right. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.